Welcome back to the Lynx 3.0 tutorial series. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section, I'll show you how to set up your BeagleBone Black for use with LabVIEW and Lynx. I'll start by connecting my BeagleBone Black to my home network via Ethernet so that the device can get internet access, and then I'll connect the BeagleBone to my PC via USB. The BeagleBone Black enumerates as two USB devices, the first is a mass storage device that contains the drivers and some getting started material. The other is a virtual network adapter. And this is what lets you connect to the BeagleBone Black from your computer. If you're using a virtual machine, make sure to pass both USB devices into the virtual machine. We'll start by looking at the mass storage device. So I'll click my computer and you can see the BeagleBone Black mass storage device. I'll open it up and in here there's an HTML file called start. And I'll open that with a browser you'll see the BeagleBone Black getting started page. And in step two, it'll tell you how to install the drivers. So I can click to download the drivers for my system. In this case, it's the 64-bit installer for Windows. I'll choose to keep it and I'll run the executable. I'll choose install. And when everything's done, I'll click Finish. So this installed the virtual network adapter drivers for the BeagleBone Black. Now I can connect to the BeagleBone Black uh, as a network device. We can do everything else from LabVIEW. So I'll close this window and close my computer and launch LabVIEW. Now we need to install the LabVIEW runtime onto the BeagleBone Black. From LabVIEW, I'll click Tools, Maker Hub, Links, and Links Target Configuration. So this is the same target configuration wizard we'll use to install the LabVIEW runtime on BeagleBone Black or Raspberry Pi. We'll start by putting in our hostname or IP address. The BeagleBone Black defaults to 192.168.7.2, and that's the USB Ethernet adapter. The username is root, and there's no password. So I'll go ahead and click Connect. And once the wizard connects to the device, we'll see some information about it. So its host name is BeagleBone, and you can see two IP addresses. The first is the USB Ethernet adapter IP address, and the second is the Ethernet connected to my home network, and this is the one we'll get internet access over. In the target info section on the left, we can see that we're running OS version 8.3. If there's any CPU information available, we'd see it here, and you can see that it does indeed have internet access, and this is required to install LabVIEW support to it, because we'll be pulling the LabVIEW runtime from the MakerHub feeds. Finally, you can click view log to see some setup information, um, some information about the setup process that is, but we don't need to do that right now. Under network settings, you can configure the host name. So you can use this to change the name in case you have multiple BeagleBone Blacks on your home network. And you can change the network adapter settings. So you could set it to a static IP address, or if you had a USB Wi-Fi adapter, you could configure that here. All we really need to do though is install the software. So I'll go to the install software tab and you can see that currently I don't have any version installed and version 14.1-9 is available. So let's go ahead and get started installing. I'll click the install button and during the install process you'll see updates in the little terminal at the bottom and if anything goes wrong or there are any warnings this window will pop up. This specific warning is indicating that the Linux partition on the SD card is only using 3 gigabytes but the SD card is 8 gigabytes. Any of the warnings will have a help button in the bottom left that will give you more information about that specific warning. And most of them will have a button in the bottom right to fix it. In this case, I can click the button to expand the partition. I want to expand it to 8 gigabytes, so I'll hit expand partition. And we'll jump ahead to when that's done. Once you see that the installation completed successfully, you can click OK to close the target configuration wizard. And we're done with the setup. You shouldn't have to do this again unless you reformat the BeagleBone Black or there's an update. In the next section, we'll learn how to connect to the BeagleBone Black from LabVIEW and run some VIs on the BeagleBone Black. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.